folks. This is your uh, trusty old wolf driver here getting to the Lebanon Valley Rail Trail. Actually, we set out today to do the Conowingo Trail, which is like uh, runs along some of the Conowingo Creek. We've done a lot of these trail parts, tr these trails. We haven't done the whole trail. So this is a part of Lebanon Valley we haven't done. But the Conowingo is about two miles down the way you're looking right now. And uh, the gates are really tight. What I mean by gates, you see that yellow gate there? The yellow gate and ballards, they call them, the poles. Um, that means these are a little wider, so our bikes can fit through it with the dogs attached most of the time. But when you have a narrower gate, you have to take the dogs off, and sometimes you have to lift the bike Wolf up driver. and maneuver it to get through. So the Conowingo Trail that we were going to do looked a little tight, and it looked pretty crowded. So it's closer to town. This is moving away from the town. This does go to Lebanon, Pennsylvania uh, in about 14 miles, and I believe the trail's total of 80 miles, the Lebanon Valley Rail Trail. So again, the Conowingo Trail is in the direction I'm looking two miles down, and that continues into this trail. It it's, goes from here about seven miles. So it's two miles on the Lebanon Valley, then you get to the Conowingo Trail. It turns into the Lebanon Valley Rail Trail, and this is the Lebanon Valley Rail Trail going about 14 miles to Lebanon, and I believe it continuing another 80 miles. I could be wrong on that, though. Wolf so, driver. crew with us today are the normal, hey, get out of there. The normal cast of characters. You've got him digging in the, stop. This is Jag. The Jagster is the jokester and the prankster, and he's digging into Jimmy's coat to see if Jimmy's got any, any, uh, leftover morsels. Uh, we know the Jag's game. That's why there's a trash bag here with a zipper on it. So Jagster is pretty much ready to go. If you saw us on the last trail, Jaggy wasn't too. Um, I've been rigging the dogs up lately with lots of different uh, cameras and um, different harnesses, and he wasn't really loving what the, the way it was going last time. So Jag decided, I'm not gonna run. And if you look Wolf at that video, driver. that's from, um, Two days ago. Let me let me get you a date on that, just so I know you're watching this now. That that was from sorry, Tuesday. So the 16th would be Tuesday, 17th, 18th, 19th. Yes, October 16th, 2018. Look for that video. That's uh, somewhere in Pennsylvania, I believe. And Jag decided they want to go. Now a lot of people say to me, "How do you know the dogs like doing this?" Well, a wise veterinarian, actually a good friend of mine, that's a veterinarian once said to me, you'll know when a dog doesn't want to do something because he'll refuse to do it. And basically that's what Jag said he wanted to do. He says, I don't want to, I don't want to ride anymore, Dad. I don't want to jog with this harness like this, whatever was Wolf getting him driver. upset or making him protest, I should say. And um, that bike was making some noise, some unusual noises, and it just kind of, Jag's the least confident and kind of spooked him, and he said, I'm done. So, it's a really interesting video, and that's why I gave you the date to look it up on my YouTube Wolf Driver channel, and you'll be able to see, he, we, we free-ranged him, which means we ran him off leaf, he ran really good, he ran in front of the bike, like he owned the trail, like he was the lead dog, and he, and he was off leash, free-range, and he had a great time. He, he has, we always run with one GPS collar on, that's right here, Link AKC, but, when we're free ranging, I use a Garmin GPS too, so I didn't have that on, but he was fine, he was listening, and the Link AKC makes me feel comfortable Wolf enough driver. that um, if he would get distracted, he's always gonna listen to me, but for some reason he went another direction. I have his stats right on my phone, and I can pick up on him and, and just um, figure out where he's at and meet him if I needed to. So, he's a good boy. He's kinda small for a Husky, he's about, weight wise, He's more like a female, and height-wise, he's a little small, even for a female. Um, right here, walking into the Z-Man, Zaro. And these guys are all about eight and a half to nine years old. And you get the chaser, he's laying down. He's like, Dad, let's get ready to roll. I'm gonna take a break first. That's Princess, she's female, and she's 14 and a half, almost 15 years old now. We got a nice day on tap, it was really cold when we left. It was roughly um, in the 30s, from what I understand. Right now, it's in the 60s. Um, we're shooting at about uh, 220 right now. Probably get on the trail close to 330. So we'll have probably uh, sunset tonight is at 623. So we'll have a good uh, three hours or so of daylight. We can run at night, but we're probably going to do limited mileage. Reason being because um, we did 
mileage earlier in the week, these trips take a lot out of the dogs, just between the ride and getting on the bike and them waiting patiently for us, being excited. All that jazz. Um, you're looking at, in case you've never been with on my videos before, you're looking at Wolf the Wolf Driver, driver. custom-made excursion six-door truck. We just put new wheels and tires on it. We need uh, extra large tires because we were on, it actually has uh, lifts in the, uh, the trucks on lifts, which means it's elevated. And that gives us more ground clearance to go to tougher terrain, let's say, to access trails that uh, might not be normally uh, on the grid, if you will. Um, that's what we do because we like to get the dogs all kinds of new sights and sounds every time we can. So uh, this is the trustworthy wolf liner, I call it, kind of like a jet liner. Vehicles today, we've got what wolf is known driver. as my rough board, kind of like a surfboard. You see the arc of the PVC pipe. This is how one of the ways I train the dogs to do ride on the bike, not be scared of the wheels, understand how the springs work that I attach them to, and the three-wheeled stance that this has gives the ability of it not to teeter-totter or turn over, if you will. If you're riding a two-wheel bike and you get off the water of the dog, the dog, it, the bike can spill right on the dog. So that's why I really appreciate this vehicle. It's, it was called an e-bike board. They don't make them anymore. And uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to um, get a few of them. So uh, they're in the Wolf Driver fleet. They also, I use them for free ranging at some of the farms Wolf we go to, right. etc. This is the Wolf Mobile. This is the one that was making a lot of noise last week, or earlier in this week, causing Jag to have some problems, or just not liking being on it for whatever reason. The harness set up, the loud noises, the, the axle was having issues. These are all custom built, the bikes you see here. Not This is custom modified, the bikes are totally custom built from the ground up, the frames and everything. Um, they are um, works of art and they're always a uh, labor of love. We're always working to perfect them. There's always issues that arise. Remember, these are all built out of bike parts to be bike worthy to go on these trails. Because you could say, well, why don't you just take an ATV and work the dogs into that? Can't do that on bike trails. We couldn't travel all over the mid-Atlantic region, mid region or the East Coast because you can't take ATVs on these trails. We have to make them bike worthy, bike legal to go on the trails. And that means light enough using bike parts so they're susceptible to the strain of the dog that the dogs put on them. Two passengers, I need a, another passenger with me because of the predicament sometimes we find ourselves in. And if you, that's why I say watch all our videos because every trip something new happens, whether it's. They're excited because some bikes are coming, but whether it's being on a. Uh, um, having mechanical problems running into we've run into bears before running into wild animals running into people um, running into places we ghost hunt sometimes old ruins along these historical trails so you never know where you'll find the wolf pack that's, that's the dogs and the wolf driver pit crew that's me and my guys but uh the bikes take us wolf there. driver howdy howdy good how are you great <laughs> we already paid for it. So. <laughs> hey, we got a crew here. <laughs> yeah, we, we um ride and pull, we share the ride. <laughs> no, I've been doing it for years, they're actually getting older now. I'm just doing it for uh, at recreational exercise for them. We're out of Baltimore, so we travel all over the mid-Atlantic area to see different trails and do different areas and that kind of stuff. Wow. Yeah, it's, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, they, we, they're all custom built. Wolf driver. Four, four dogs, four huskies. Um, yeah, actually we only take one vehicle. We take one as a backup, but um, the four dogs can, on level ground they can pull it. Going uphill it's a lot of weight because it's two people in there and it's water and we put cameras and everything else. But. Um, we do, we can pedal and uh, assist them in that way. So they're more trotting with the vehicle, if you will. Okay. Yes. Not now, if we get into a situation level ground or if you're going downhill, I'm riding the brake a lot because especially if they see another animal or they pick up on a scent, they want to go. So <laughs> we're just going to, we set up all kinds of cameras to film, film our fun. 
<laughs> Thank you. Driver. <laughs> yeah, we come through a lot of areas of Pennsylvania. We um, we do we've done a we've done this trail before, but I don't think we've done this far down. Do you, how long is the Lebanon Valley Trail? Do you know? I think someone said it was 80 miles somewhere I read. Yeah. Now I know it's 14 miles from here to Lebanon, but okay. 19 miles to, okay, okay. Yeah, and there's another couple miles here. And then it turns into Conowingo, I believe. Yeah, the whole thing, probably 25 12. miles, maybe. Okay. Not, 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 not now, yeah. We, um, but it's good for us. This time of year, it's still a little warm, so dogs can, sometimes we do as little as five driver. miles. In the, in the cold weather, we'll do 30 miles. I bet they're oh yeah, they love to do it. <laughs> Keeps them in shape. You too, thank you so much. Good talking to you. <laughs> thank you. Sure. Thank you very much. I know of it, but I don't know where it's at. Driver. Okay, I know where that is. That's cool. Bainbridge, it's called? Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Thank you. I'm going to look that up. Good trail? Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate it. <laughs> really? That's cool. Yes, yes. I love that. That's great. That sounds sounds awesome. Four dogs, yep. Driver. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. One's in the way back and one's laying down in the front. <laughs> uh, Bay Bainbridge. Bay Bainbridge. Cool. Eighteen twelve. Wow. Shanks. Shanks. Shanks Tavern. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Should we tell them you sent us? <laughs> That's great. That's great. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you. So their pedal assist, if we would need them, like like sometimes if the dogs get distracted and they're all pulling in one direction and you need to shake them up, just hit a motor for a second. It'll let them know, hey, we got to go this way, guys. Also, if we go up a steep hill, it'll pedal assist us. They're electric, they're quiet, they're small, so just provides a little bit of extra. Uh, the batteries, we, we put them on as we, when we get to where we're going, so we're going to put them on yet. Yeah. Cool stuff. Thanks very much. Good talking to y'all. Have a great day. Thank you. Okay. So, folks, I'm going to outfit Wolf the camera just in driver. case you haven't seen. I haven't used this bike in a while, so it's a little bit different. This is our most narrow one, as I was saying, to get through a lot of the difficult trail gates that we may run into. Just So we're just harnessing up the Wolf Pack, and I'm using the same... I'm gonna switch Jack's harness today to this rough wear. I just put it on. Um, new harness I picked up. I used it on Chase last week. The buckles, biggest thing about this harness, it's still got that H-back design with a chest plate. Good boy, Jackie. So they can pull if they prefer and spread the weight out over their body, over their, their at least their shoulder area through some of their torso. Uh, if we need to spread the weight out further, we put on what they call an X-back harness. That's more for racing. And um, we don't need that today, more for uh, um, going at quicker speeds, etc. But this should, this harness is great. It's also good for walking dogs. Um, a lot of times that's what we are doing. This is kind of like a glorified walk. So this harness is the biggest thing here. The design covers a buckle, it pads it, if you will. So it's not per se a padded harness. Um, there's some webbing down there, uh, uh, some of the 
material, nylon, whatever it is, covering some of the webbing, but it wouldn't be what I consider a padded harness, but it's still very comfortable to the dogs. And because of the way the weight's spread out, see that? The biggest thing again is Wolf because the clip driver. is covered. So it doesn't bother the do some dogs that are susceptible to being a little aggravated by the buckle or a little distracted. These two guys are always in it. So I bought that harness originally for Chase. <laughs> I'm gonna show you this, folks. <laughs> Any kisses from me? You just gave him some. There you go. Okay, so originally I bought that harness for Chase. And now I got another one. It worked really good. Here's what it's called. It's called the Front Range Dog Harness from Roughwear. And that was a large, extra large. Shag's a little beefy, so he can use that even though he's smaller in height. Okay, we're going to put their other harnesses on now. Wolf. Driver. Today what we're gonna do, we're not gonna do any camera filming. I'm just gonna put a regular harness on Zaro. We're getting late in the day. Chase is on this. Chase will get a Oh, I just forgot to put a camera on this one. I won't do that because I bring with a lot of extra parts because of instances where I forget certain things like I did. Jim, can I get that screwdriver from you? Driver. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> Jimmy, thank you. So, I forgot because I'll explain this to you as I do this. See these frames, if you're familiar with GoPros, the frames are what holds the cameras. They used to use those big, large, waterproof cases you're probably familiar with. And they still, I believe, have them, but now most of the GoPros, all of them now, the new ones, are all waterproof to uh, a depth that, unless you're diving, I don't think you will achieve. So most of the time, all they need is this frame, Wolf which is nice. Driver. You don't have to worry about fogging up and different problems that come with a totally enclosed case that they used to make or they used to be required to use. So I'm just leveling this one as GPS collar. And what this is going to allow them to do is film our dog trip today. Uh, it went a little bit back. Should be good because the way he holds his neck, if I have it too level, actually that bent up a little bit, kind of cool. If I have it too level, then when he bends his neck, it'll be like that. So now it'll be a little tilted up. Um, probably just Wolf driver. jibber jabberish. Uh, you can't really, well, I couldn't picture that until I see it on the dog, so I, my explanation may not be great. Here you go, Jimmy. Put it right on there. Sure, thank you. So, Chase will be our only filmer today, and you can see this is his power. And they're all gonna be wearing lighted powers just in case we do get into nighttime activities. And I didn't put Jags on, so I'll do that real quickly. These are, I believe they're called Night Howls. They're 10, 15 dollars, depending where you buy them at. Lighted powers that work off of fiber optics. Wolf driver. And hi, good boy. Hi, good boy. So whenever I put anything on the dog, I'm always, I must always try to tell him, good boy, because I want him to know it's good when you let me work on you. Good boy. Look at these two. These two guys are wild. So, first one I'll put on. blue one the blue one typically the blue is for Zorro Jag got a blue one because I bought that and I knew Zorro would be an extra large and I wasn't sure about Jag so I'd rather him wear that harness today because this one doesn't seem to irritate Zorro at all and I'll pick Zorro up one of those other ones like oh you let him use that one I'll get Jag his in green if that makes any sense hi good boy you're the best you are the best. Good chase. Trying to get in on this. So 
saying, what's up there? Oh, I love you too, sir. You can see this chase is giving me kisses. Okay, good boy. Okay, steady. Well, actually, you can see my back. He says, okay, it's Chase's turn. I just got harnessed up, got all dressed up. And make sure this isn't twisted. It was a little twisted. I can't twist it back. Looks like I am twisting it back fine. Sometimes the harnesses will get twisted a little bit and it won't lay on the dog as smoothly or as cleanly. So it won't be quite as comfortable and I'm always looking for that when I put these on. Again, this is the rough wear harness. The other one was a Kong harness, which I kind of like because it is all Wolf padded. Driver. And um, it's got metal clips. Some dogs <laughs> easy pretty. Some dogs, again, will chew the clip. The aluminum will prevent them from doing that. But I wouldn't want to put that on the dog if I thought he was going to chew because I wouldn't want to take a chance of them messing their teeth up. So uh, Zara's not going to chew it, and the padding allows <laughs> for comfort. So. I kind of like it, good quality. And this is Chase, getting his little collar, camera collar. Make sure this is fitted properly. Hey, Chasey boy. Wolf driver. The princess sticking her head out. She's like, what's going on, Dad? Am I not involved in this? She's already got her phone. You now, from that, <laughs> Pretty. He's excited. Come here, Zara. Good boy. Look at that. Look at that. Good boy. We got two <laughs> light up harnesses to go. Sorry, light up collars. And that's the blue. These collars, again, let me see. You can't really see them during the day. They're designed for nighttime use, obviously. They're pretty bright for what. <laughs> okay, pretty. They'll provide a couple things. They let bikers know that we're wider than Wolf a normal bike. Driver. Something running outside, which is nice. And then also they provide us a quick look. If we can't, Zara, move over, buddy. Move over, good boy. Oh, good boy. Sorry, buddy. If we can't get a visual on the dog, we can see the light in my mirror and know, oh yeah, he's, he's back there fine. Or he's on the side fine. That's what that boy. Uh, this is the antenna because again this is a Garmin GPS collar. That I got the camera one. Hey princess, this is here. Wolf driver. Hey Jimmy, we're almost showtime. Almost showtime, buddy. Oh, I need to put my vest on too. My harness. Again, this is your first time watching a wolf driver video. I'm always wearing some sort of harness myself that has leashes built into Wolf it. These are all driver. custom modified body harness systems. They're modified by me to do the sport we're doing here, wolf driving. So these go on. And when I say they're harnesses, oops, I think I have this inside out. Not the easiest thing in the world. I'm trying to hold in front of the camera so you can get an idea what I'm doing. You can go back and I'll make a video of me putting this on, but usually on any of my videos, this goes on the whole leg, by the way, I get a strap that goes on their leg, which makes this a true harness. So, for instance, if you can imagine, if you needed to be lifted by a helicopter, this would be, this harness would be sufficient to do it in, I believe. That's the kind of stuff it's rated for. You got a, a dog sled team. They got power too, so 
if I hook them up on a leash in a pinch here, I'll be able to have complete control of them and they won't overtake me or be able to move me, which is important Wolf drive. because we get find ourselves in predicament where the dogs need to come off to cross a bridge or sometimes we'll even come to a trail that has steps on it and we have to disembark and I might have to walk the dogs to get them out of the way so we can move the bike through the steps, whatever. I'm just putting on, there's a strap on top that I have to hook it to, there we go. Now I'm all set. And walkie talkie bud, on the front, okay. What's that, Jim? Uh, we could pull one. Well, let's pull it up. You want to pull it up? Wolf driver. Yeah, let's pull it up. Uh, okay. Good, man. Yep. So I'm getting the last camera ready for Chase, and his camera's already got his name on it. That's Zaro's, because I can see he's a little dirty. We're not, Zaro's not gonna run with the camera today. Just, we switch off sometimes. One dog does it, sometimes they all dog do it, sometimes none. Okay, go Jimmy. Yeah, I think we are too. I'm ready for dogs. Just set my watch. Do a run here and we're gonna start it somehow. There we go. Wolf driver. The dogs are gonna come out. Okay. Come on, Jim. So what I do is Oh. <laughs> drinks, do we have drinks? Do we have drinks? Um, let, let, hang on one sec. Let, let me get cameras on. Okay, folks. That's the way you turn on 10 cameras. Trying to think of some way of patching that tube so it holds still. Jim? Wolf driver. Easy, buddy. I thought maybe you could, like a hook, use a sandpaper. Take it, boy. This is Chase getting hooked up. Okay, good boy. Shake, rattle, and roll. That's the name of the story, buddy. Mr. Jag. Oh, look at you with a pretty blue harness on today, sir. You're usually the green dog. Come on. Wolf driver. Might, <laughs> might need to switch this around. No, it's actually okay. It's a big both ends. Yep, but it seemed to go through. <laughs> Making fun of Jaggy. And now, last but not least, is the only female of the wolf pack. Wolf 
driver. Come on. Easy, good girl. She's got the power. So now, what I'm gonna do is put her light at collar on. She was in the way back, so I couldn't get to it easily. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm gonna have to put the last. Show you how to work my GoPros, folks. Okay, what we do is we're gonna create a time lapse for this run. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're training them. Thank you. We're set there. I'll glimpse them. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're... Oh, they love it. Yeah. Yep, it's a team effort. They like pulling. I thought it was like an augmentation. They pull you and you can relax. They pull you and you can relax. Yeah, a little bit of both. No, I've been to the Cape Cod Rail Trail up in Massachusetts. Never as far north as Maine, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where you're talking. Wolf driver. Yes. Yeah, it's cool stuff. I love it. Thank you. How big, Jimmy? <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> we, we pretend good. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know it, too. You ready? ready? Have a great day, sir. Fun, guys. Thank you. The chain doesn't seem like it's acting right. But... Yeah, Wolf better tell Chris. Driver. How's Jag? Is Jag engaged? Something coming down this trail. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
driver. Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
driver. driver. driver. driver. driver. driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Hey folks, we're Driver. about uh, two miles into our trail, a little better than two miles, pretty princess, doing great. Again, if you saw us on our last trail, 
Jag was hesitant because the wheel was making a lot of noise and that was on a different bike. And to be, that's why I have a bunch of these bikes in my fleet because, and these are all custom built. Um, when you, they just take a lot of abuse basically. Again, they're bikes that are working like ATVs in so many ways. They got the weight of the dogs pulling on them. They got these extra big tires. They've got more than one passenger. They're carrying water. Sometimes they're carrying one of the dogs back here, carrying all this camera equipment. There's a lot of weight going on and a lot of distortion of the frame. It skews a lot. So the long chain that's needed on this bike, on the other bike, we have it broken down because we have a front passenger. I'm sorry, the driver has his own set of wheels he drives and the, and the uh, co-pilot has his own set of wheels, it's four wheel drive. So with this one, there's just one chain going, there's two chains, but there's one chain that goes the whole distance. I believe there's actually only one chain there, not two. So it goes the length of the bike, which is about 10 feet. The bike skews a little bit, it can throw the chain off. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. Three miles in an hour and six minutes. <laughs> doing good look at that I like them things them camera have their own batteries Jim the, the ca spinning cameras now that whole frames a battery yeah so so no wire to get tangled up yeah and it lasts the whole trip. Only battery I got changed is the one I'm wearing in chases. I got almost everything else automated, Jim. Yeah, yeah, I put one on him. He, cause he loves it. He don't care about nothing. He wears it under the collar.
driver.
Wolf Driver. driver.
according to this, we're uh, almost four miles, quarter mile. driver. driver. Wolf Driver. driver. Wolf Driver
Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
driver. driver. Wolf driver. driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver
Wolf Driver. Wolf driver. I'll put her up, but you think so? Okay. Oh, you got. Oh, she's done incredible. Putting Princess up at six, almost six and a half miles. Clear. Oh, we got an iced tea and a bungee in here. Look, she's still got energy. It's just good for her, and we can make some miles. Wolf driver. You've done great, princess. You've done great. Feels like you gained some weight, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Good girl. Seems good. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Oh, <laughs> oh,
Wolf Driver. 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 Wolf Driver Wolf Driver
Wolf Driver. Now my watch says we went nine and a half miles. You know what Princess did about uh, seven of those yeah. miles. Yeah.